All right, good evening, good evening everyone. This is the April 10, 2019 meeting of the Urban Conservation Commission. This meeting is being recorded. Um, I don't know if it's for posterity or not, but <clears throat> it will be available on the town website, which is arborguide.com. Um, I apologize for the brief delay tonight, but it was um, due to circumstances beyond my control. Um, before we start, I'm required to ask if anyone in the audience is making a recording of this meeting. There being no indication that anyone is doing that. The first item on tonight's agenda is a 7 p.m. public hearing. Ryan McMahon, a request for determination for the installation of a shed at 15 Bridal Path in Auburn. Is there a motion open? So moved. Is there a second? Second. Is there any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed to vote. Mr. McMahon is right there. Come on up. Don't be shy. How you doing? Tell us what you want to do. Uh, we are looking, my wife and I are looking to put a shed on our property. Um, <laughs> and because our property is, uh, the yard is within 100 feet of wetland, we thought uh, it was the right thing to do to come here. And so we're here. So we put up the paperwork, sent in, um, uh, let's see what this specifically is WPA Form 1 um, request for determination of applicability. And then we got a list of everyone abutting us and have records of uh, certified mail to okay. Okay. Is this it? That's it. Okay. Now, did you measure off um, the distance of the shed from the wetlands? Uh, yes, I think it's six feet. Okay. Well, um, that may be a problem, and I'll explain why. Um, the town um, has bylaws in which um, if you we have a basically a 25 foot no bill zone. Now, in our regulations, um, we can uh, waive that um, that requirement <clears throat> or that prohibition, but um, we have made that as part of our order of conditions. And at this point, we have no mechanism that allows us to allow for a shed to be built or any structure for that matter to be built within 25 feet of a wetland area um, without an order of conditions um, being um, obtained. Okay. And, that's probably more jargon than you need to hear, but um, but that is the case. Um, any questions? Are there any other locations possibly put it? Um, on our backyard, it's kind of a triangle, so in order to leave some space for our uh, two little ones to play, sure. this is kind of off to the side right. uh, in the best location there. Yeah, we're very familiar with Bridal Path. We've had a number of filings there. And um, to, to one degree or another, um, applicants have kind of come across the same issue because the wetland is really, you know, is at the back of the property, mm -hmm. but is, you know, the lots in, in some ways are kind of narrow uh, in terms of um, permitting other construction. What about on this side, right? Is there, here there's a fence on this side. Yeah. Um, is there anything at the end of, a, end of the driveway? Like Do you have driveways or anything at the end of a driveway? We have a driveway that it's sloped. Okay. Um, so the only real flat part of the property is really where we want to put it, okay. is the back corner. Um, everything else has a fairly significant slope okay. there. Understood. Yeah. How long have you lived there, sir? Uh, it was built in 2010. We've been there since then. Okay. All right. I have no other questions. <clears throat> Any questions from the audience? Okay. Um, is there a motion to close? I make a motion that we close the hearing for uh, the applicant, Ryan McMahon, the question determination. I'll second that. <clears throat> is there any further discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed to vote. All right, Mr. McMahon, uh, we'll be rendering a determination probably tonight, and you'll hear from us. Okay. Thank you for coming in. Okay. Um, so, do, I, do you need this? No, you need okay. that one. Okay. I've got, I've got a call. Okay. Okay. Thank you. All right. So we'll hear back from you. Yes. Okay. I hope you want to call me on Wednesday. Wonderful. Okay. Thank I'll you. be in at eight. <clears throat> All right. The first item on the next item on our agenda is a seventh and public hearing. Paul Wabadi. Notice of, it, of intent for the addition of a garage and shed at 86 Rochdale Street. Is there a motion open? So moved. Is there a second? Second that. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed the vote. What happened to 23 Brook Street? We're not talking about that right now. I'm sorry. Oh. 
Mine for you, Brooke Camps, actually. I don't. Do you have a new applicant? I have the wrong agenda. That's okay. Oh, really? Did I give you the wrong one? I'm sorry. <laughs> There were a couple Sorry about that. Came across revised. Hold it out. It's okay. Yeah. Sir, you know what? It's fine. It's okay. We'll go uh, and I apologize. The next item on our agenda is a 705 public hearing. Um, homes by Emerson John Stonelock, a notice of intent to construct a home, well, sewer connection, stormwater controls, and landscaping at 23 Brook Street. Is there a motion open? So moved. Is there a second? Second. Aye. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed to vote? Hey, Kevin. How are you? Hey, how are you doing? Thank you. Oh, you look familiar. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, Art. Sorry. Art Allen from Ecotech Wetland Scientist, Hi, uh, representing Thank you. Homes by Emerson. And there's the uh, certificates and mailing for the abutters. Uh, I'm the wetland scientist who delineated the wetland on the lot um, and prepared the notice of intent for submission. With me here tonight is Kevin Mara, representing the applicant, and Frank Fischeri, the uh, civil engineer who uh, prepared the site plan, did the stormwater analysis for the project. Maybe I'll just bring this up here so that we can see it. So, so basically, if I turn this right side up, we have Brook Street down here. Um, this lot 23 was split out of 25. So here's the existing house here, 25. Um, and then this lot is right next to 25 um, on the side slope here. The wetland that was delineated is a little headwaters area right up in the middle of the lot and then that drains down towards the subdivision. I think it's Deer Run just, just down the street and there's a culvert under under the subdivision road there that drains this, this area. So we're proposing to put this house up on the street side of the wetland. Um, we have an option and, and it's presented in our request uh, in, the, in the notice of intent narrative. The option would be to put the house back, the, the land plot runs back a ways. We could run a driveway right next, directly next to the wetland and put the house uh, and get everything outside of 50 feet if we went to the back. Um, but we thought it would be uh, less impactful and make more sense to put the house up front on the street side, uh, leave the wetland in a 25-foot buffer undisturbed. So we're requesting a waiver from the 50-foot setback. So the 25 is here. We're outside of the 25. We're requesting a waiver to be able to work in the, the 25 to 50-foot um, buffer, primarily because of the stormwater system that's required under the bylaw. So this is the low end of the lot, the low corner. So the water is going to be collected up here from the rooftop and the swale along the driveway, piped back to the infiltrator system in the corner and discharged back here uh, with a stone filter just outside the 25 foot. Um, and then they'll have some yard running up uh, um, from the stormwater system in the back here. Uh, so there's a sequence of construction and stabilization on here. We're proposing um, siltation control barrier all around these sides here on the, the kind of the downhill and the wetland side. There's the construction entrance during construction and control tracking out onto the street, designated you know, stockpile and storage area surrounded by siltation barriers up in the front yard. And that's about it. The 100 foot buffer is in yellow here. Again, 50 foot back behind the house and structure. And then the 25 foot here and the wetland um, back in the middle of the lot. So that's, that's the proposal. Um, we are glad to answer any questions. Also, Frank, the engineer is no here. way to sneak it in above that 50 foot line. Sneak uh, the um, stormwater yeah. system. Um, yeah, I mean, that's, you know, the building set back off the street constrains us in the front. Right. So the, the house is at the, it is seems at the like that little corner right line. here in the yard. Uh, up high? Yeah, Sorry, I mean, that's, that's the high end. This goes uphill. Mm -hmm. So, so this is a low, this is a low right. spot right here, Wouldn't where we would have to, in order to gravity water from the house in the front yard and get back to a gravity discharge. We, we, they can't pump storm no, I got water. So, yep. um, yeah. So, this, so it, just so you know, this is a cut up on this side towards the existing 25. So it's going to be, it's going to be an export. I mean, they're going to be taking material out to create the pad for the house. And then everything's going to drain down this way. 
I was just wondering why they're doing the infiltration system instead of like a detention pond. Um, I Frank could address that, I believe. Uh, she, she'll ask why they, you, you want to do the subsurface infiltration, infiltration instead of the surface system. It was <clears throat> going to be hard to get the grades to work with everything, to be honest with you, which is why we ended up with the subsurface. I would prefer to do an above ground detention basin because it would be cheaper for the applicant. Yeah. Uh, but we didn't really have the real estate to grade everything out um, yeah. to do a, a surface basin and, and develop any sort of volume. So the underground was the only way to really get the attenu attenuation. Okay. <clears throat> any other questions from the board? Any questions from the audience? So, uh, I haven't been out to the property. I don't know if any other members of the commission have. And so, as you know, Mr. Allen, we like to take a look before uh, we pass muster on plans. And so, Mr. Morehart, with your permission, um, we'd like to have an opportunity to take a look and would request that you continue this for to our next meeting. Good. Okay. And just so you know, too, um, I was hounding DEP since Monday and they cut the file number at like 4 o'clock this afternoon. So we, we do have a DEP file number with no comments. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. All right, so, which suggests that they haven't looked at it yet. <laughs> um, no, I'm sure they received it on the 27th and, and I think it took them until this afternoon at 4 to look at it. So, okay. Yeah, I mean, they, their comment is no comment, which is typical for a buffer zone. Understood. 24. Yeah. What time on the 24th? Together. Um, I don't know if anything's being carried over, so why don't we schedule them right for 7. Perfect. 7. 7 o'clock on the 24th. Okay. You see you guys again? Would you like to schedule the yeah. uh, yeah. yeah. I know I can't do it on Saturday, so that maybe we could do it uh, perhaps a week from this Saturday. Yeah, the day before you just do Right. Yeah, I can do that. I can tell some people. I did go to see this site, mm -hmm. and unfortunately it was after a snowstorm, and I got stuck turning around in <laughs> the neighbor. I pulled on, and it was a sheet of ice, and took a kind person pulled yeah, over. So, and it's I very can, undeveloped right now. I mean, want, I think it's something can, that's I really easy to see. Okay. Okay. In the event we couldn't all get together as a group, um, yeah, it's, it's right easy. off the street. Right. Yeah. So I think rather than trying to do something maybe organized, we'll try to we'll get out there. We'll make sure we get out there. That's okay. fine. All right. So the 24th at 7. Yes, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you. Well, is there a motion to continue? I make a motion that we continue the uh, application of homes by Emerson on notice of intent to the 24th of April at 7 p.m. Is there a second that? Is there any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed to vote. Okay. And moving right along. The next item on our agenda is 710 public hearing. Daryl Ravani, a notice of intent for the addition of a garage and shed at 86 Rochdale Street in Auburn. Is there a motion open? So moved. Is there a second? A second. Is there any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed to vote. Okay. Is Mr. Ravani here? So Did Mr. Ravati contact uh -oh. us? Uh -oh. Uh -oh. No show. All right. Well, yeah. I didn't check my emails before I came you know, okay. out since. Uh, I mean, as as just to refresh the memory of the commission, this uh, we've been out to the property. It's my understanding that they're going to uh, do some sort of redesign yeah. of the garage. Maybe not the shed, but the garage. Mm -hmm. And I presume that... You no, know I'm sorry. He did call. He said he wouldn't have time to get those plans to me in time. Okay. Um, okay. Did he tell you when he might be ready? The next meeting. Okay. So based on that um, conversation, is there a motion to continue the public hearing for Mr. Abadi to April 24th? I move that we continue uh, the 86, 86 Rochdale Street to mm -hmm. um, 424 at 705. Yeah. At 705. Seven, yeah. Will we 705? Yeah. I'll second that. Uh, okay. Is there any further discussion? Mm -hmm. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Close the vote. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Um, the next item on our agenda is 715 public hearing ZPT Energy Solutions. 2 LLC notice of intent for 
the construction of a photovoltaic solar facility at 347 Rochdale Street in Auburn. Is there a motion to open? So moved. Is there a second? Second. Is there any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed to vote. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? <laughs> <laughs> so I'm Paul McLean. I'm with CPT Energy. I'm here with uh, both Kevin O'Neill, who is our design engineer for the project, and Andrea from uh, LAC, who is our wetland specialist. Um, just to recap, I guess it's been about a month. I think we had one continuance that was, you know, related just getting out there and in good weather right. to do the uh, site walk, which which was eventually completed. Um, and then the next continuance that we did uh, uh, remotely was, was based on doing a little bit of a change to the design to incorporate what was found during the uh, site walk. Right. So um, I can tell you that the uh, you know the changes were made from a site plan perspective. Uh, we ran all that through the peer reviewer for Burton Engineering and all got a comment letter from him that essentially, you know, checks the box that they're satisfied. Um, we were at planning just last night. I will tell you that we continued one more time on, uh, for their part, just to review. We wanted to look at some long distance sight lines across the lake, none of which really affects or uh, relates to the con conservation. But, um, but we wanted to just, we're going to go back and uh, probably reach out to a few of the people across the lake and just so that they're aware of the project and okay. we're going to look at some sight lines from across the lake just to uh, see what that looks like. We've got good buffers, all, especially to the west and south, and so um, all our neighbors um, uh, along Crowell Hill, you know, I've you know, been able to re reach out and work with separately, and they're all satisfied. Made a small adjustment to the array in the south, and uh, you know, which we think it will appease uh, 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 Ronnie, Ronnie Brooks. Ronnie Brooks. Okay. Yeah. And uh, but so e everything we're working on with Planning Commission, I expect in the next couple of weeks, we'll just sort out with uh, letters to those about her, er, not about her, but neighbors, and. Uh, and uh, and then we'll be back in front of planning, hoping to close that out. So so tonight I can have we can do you know anything to your pleasure. We can have Kevin kind of review the project if you want to have another quick understanding of that. We can have Andrea uh, speak to the the resource that you know was the result of the last site walk. Mm -hmm. And then we you know my expectation is I think everybody should be satisfied, and hopefully we can close the hearing and move on. Yeah, I understand that. I mean, I think we're familiar with, with the project. We've walked the site three times, at least yeah. three times, <laughs> um, trudging in the snow. Yeah. And, uh, and I appreciate that. Believe me, we I know how difficult this winter has been to move around and get well, this done. And what, what made it a little challenging, of course, is that while the you know the project is primarily upland, it's, um, it was a little tough going. Um, although it's always fun to traipse in the woods, you know. Mm -hmm. um, but actually, I would like... Uh, uh, Andrea to address um, the <coughs> application or the waiver request that we received or is dated April 4th of 2019 and just if you would summarize it. Sure, so um, basically as a result of that isolated wetland there is an uh, approximately 80 foot distance from the wet eastern part of the western part of the uh, point. There's a new pinch point created uh, from the wetland boundary to the property corner, mm -hmm. and so it leaves an 80 foot wide swath of land to um, realign the access road uh, in this <coughs> area to get to the, the large expansive upland area. Right. Uh, wanted to be respective, uh, be able to maintain uh, the 25 foot no touch zone and modify the design to minif minimize the work within the 25 to 50 foot. Uh, throughout the site, there is the um, open channel swale uh, adjacent to the roadway. Once we got to the buffer zone area um, in that pinch point, there, the um, Fossil O'Neill designed it so that they're piping the water underneath so we don't have to use as much land area uh, mm -hmm. to accommodate that. Sure. Um, and then again, once they get out of the, the buffer zone, they're, they're, they've relocated and shifted 
the sediment um, detention, detention basin. basin, excuse me, further uh, down the hillside and uh, uh, or rerouted the road. And then rerouted the road. So we, we looked at swelling it instead of the, the pipe, but it just required more lid fitted So we might swell it. Hey, you got to put your site for the uh, This would be sheet CS 101. Thank you. So I brought up two concerns at the site walk, uh, one of which was the fencing. Yep. So we broke the fence. I need that too. So the fence is, there's now, this is gated, there's a gate here, and then there's a gate here, so there's a break in the fence okay. in the middle of the array. And then the second thing was the um, orientation of the panels. So all the panels, um, like the, the little, little tiny boxes on the plan, that's a panel. Yep. And then the bigger rectangles, that's called a table. The tables are spaced apart, and then the individual panels on each table have gaps as well. It allows sunlight to penetrate through um, to underneath the mold grass growth and prevents exactly what your concern was, which was getting, you do not get a long isolated channel of water running off the end of it. It runs off every individual panel. But why not just turn around? Is there a reason? They face south. Right. First, the sun. Thank you. No, I appreciate it. Um, how much space in between each channel? It's like a one inch gap, I believe. Okay. So each panel drains. It's not a table. Is effect. that a new thing? No, that's. I mean, I've been on a lot of solar sites, and they're all in this orientation, and there's channels. This is so steep. Um, you know, I'm just worried yeah, that. I feel like every project we've done, they've all had the, those yeah. gaps on them. That regrowth that's just going to like keep everything in place. Yeah, I think that's specified in that Mass DEP 17 1 policy. But yeah, there's gaps to prevent exactly what you, that concern is. And the downhill side of these aren't more than like a few feet off the ground. Yeah. But like I said, all the water runs off all the individual panels. And we'll get good vegetative growth all yep. through the underside of it, so it'll, it'll absorb that water there for, for growth. Even if it's really... Yeah, we, we've soil we've, just didn't seem like it was. We've we've designed arrays, like I said, on these similar slopes, these similar cover types. Yeah. And what's the proposed cover type when it's? Uh, it's uh, grass. Yeah, is it the New England concept? It's a mix. Yeah. Right on the page. So we will. Uh, <laughs> He's too, young. He's too young. He's too young. I know. <laughs> it's the New England uh, yeah. <laughs> wetland plants, the New England conservation wildlife mix. Erosion uh, control blanket goes on any slope steeper than three to one as well to help stabilize it. And then the basins have the, the detention basin mix. And we, we, I've said it before, we build and maintain them, so we have a long-term maintenance plan here. And you know, if there's anything that goes wrong, you just call us, and we'll take care of it. But we, we're, we're confident in, in the plan. Any other um, questions from the board? Any questions from the audience? All right. <clears throat> there being none, uh, is there a motion to close? Would you motion to close the public hearing? All right. Is there a second? Second that. Any further discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed to vote. All right. Um, I think given, Thank you. given the, the size of the project, and there are certain issues, of course, there's the waiver we have to consider. I don't know that we will uh, be able to render a decision tonight, but clearly we will be able to do that by the time of our next meeting. Can I yeah, interject? I know you just oh, closed. Can I make just one more, say one more thing? Is there a motion to reopen the public mm -hmm. hearing? So moved. Is there a second? Second. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 vote. Now you can. We also included um, over in this area a couple of wetland restoration plantings. Um, I just wanted to mention that as well. Okay. Well, we appreciate that. And I okay. think that's all. Okay. All right. yeah. <laughs> the buffer zone restoration plantings in the area where the test pit was, test pit number one, um, some uh, uh, like four different kinds of uh, wetland shrubs. Buffer zone shrubs are going to be placed. Uh, 
<clears throat> in that area. So. And we have details on those? Yes. Yeah, that's yeah the plants are specified on that sheet, same sheet, CS 101. Huh? Okay. You saw, you saw that too, right? Yeah. So 25 native non cultivar shrubs, mountain laurel, maple leaf viburnum, high bush blueberry, and American witch hazel will populate the, the area disturbed from the test pit area. That is officially within the buffer zone. All right, very good. Okay, anything else? Thank you. Sure. <laughs> Is there a motion? <laughs> so, motion to close. Motion to close. Oh, right. I was just going to ask. How, so, oh, really? well, no, after we <laughs> close, go after ahead and close, close, and then I just want to know what happens. All right. Yeah. Is there a motion to close? So moved. Is there a second? Second. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Close the vote. <laughs> So you will be working on the order of conditions, and then in, within a couple of weeks, I will hear from you. We in have to issue meeting, no, an order of conditions for the 21 days after the public hearing is closed. Okay. So the 24th, so the 24th is 14 days, and we will, I anticipate, issue the order of conditions at that time. Okay. Okay. Fantastic. Yes. Thank you very much. I just bought you an extra like three minutes by reading. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you very much. Okay. 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 It's a pleasure to work with you guys. Thank you. The next item on tonight's agenda is a 720 public hearing, Stephen and Pamela Daniels. Request for determination for the installation of above ground pool at Severn Bridal Path. Is there a motion open? So moved. Is there a second? Second. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Oppose the vote. Thank you, Commission. Glenn Kowalski from EBT Environmental and Mr. Daniels. Thank you, Could uh, is here also. Mm -hmm. We uh, sent to Sheila through PDF the revised plan as. Thank you, Mr. Garland. You had stated at the last meeting. Well, get it outside the 25. Okay, so the then we'll look at things. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think it was exactly get it outside it the 25. There were, there, was, there was other words before and after that, but that was right in the middle. That was right in the middle. I thought it would pre prevent some, uh, some issues. Oh, well, if, I think you were, were like, well, if it's outside the 25, maybe there's an avoidance of it. I don't know why. Not that you were committed to the avoidance. No, no, I wouldn't. You wouldn't not. commit to I wasn't asked for committing. Okay. But Mr. Daniels, um, this is for his nieces and stuff. I mean, the, you know, your granddaughters. Granddaughters and things. We did reduce the pool down to 12 feet. We moved it to 25 off the original Cullen and Flag line, which the commission might have believe, saw, seen when you went out there, mm -hmm. or some of the members went out. Yeah. We uh, and it was in the rest of the project was the same. We moved the erosion controls closer to the pool. This is existing lawn. There's no trees coming out. I thought you might. Uh, here's another copy Thank of the plan you. there, and I, yeah, I can talk. You have. One. We need another one if you have. Oh, oh sure. One. I'll just talk up it from okay. uh, the old plan. Thank you very much. Okay, we have a reduced one. Thank you again for that. So, we were going to come in. If you're facing the plan on the left hand or northern side of the lot, and pools and queues, as I recall, was going to be installing it, and all they need to do is remove the topsoil and uh, four, to, four to five inches we looked at in there and put sand under it. It's mm -hmm. just within, underneath the pool. The lawn is, we gave you some photographs that it's a uh, flat back there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. And we were, um, and we just got it a little bit closer to the house. 12.16 feet to the house. 49 feet from the house to the wetland flag line. And this is a scaled plan. It comes off of the Cullinan as built for the uh, original house, Six. which we did receive from your uh, mm -hmm. from your files. And so everything matched once we put it together, the 100 foot frontage, the 25 feet, and we, we scaled it off as we thought that because it was above the ground pool, and I know there was some question about whether it was temporary, but in our eyes, it, it won't be there. I mean, the kids will grow up. We'll see I, what happens. I couldn't sit here in more than 10 years. Yeah. <laughs> So that was the project. The other issues that I believe you will take up, as you said you would, are I think some, somewhat separate from my RDA, mm -hmm. or the RDA we filed. Mm -hmm. So this is the project that, that we filed. We 
EBT wasn't aware of the other ramifications of those other uh, issues. I understand. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Um, any questions? Okay. okay. Any questions from the audience? There being none, is there a motion to close? Make a motion to close the public hearing. Okay, is there a second? Second. Is there any further discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Close the vote. All right. Thank you. Did, do, will we take that other thing up some other time, or just so Mr. Daniel? Well, we will. You will. Okay. So that we'll, we'll see. We'll see paperwork or something. Because it's on. not on the agenda. Yes. That's oh, right. Okay. Thank you again, right. sir. Very Thank much. You. Thank, Thank you. you. Okay. Thank you I won't be back to work until uh, next Wednesday. So. <laughs> that means when the, when the determination comes. Yeah. So okay. thank you, Sheila, okay. for that. Thank right. you, board. Thank, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good night. Was Diamond on, or should we take? Uh, that I do have them on. I do. I do have them so on. So I just have one question. Well, yeah. I may have more than one question. <laughs> uh oh. I'm coming. Down. Why was your conditions not recorded? I wasn't there at the time, and if, if you need... Which, which one are we talking it about? It was the original, it was the house being removed prior to the permit for the service facility. Right. Okay. So there was, there was some houses in there. There was a channel that Margaret, I believe I said this the last meeting, she identified it, and Ecotech did the work on it, and they, they showed Margaret, and apparently she agreed there was no BVW. Seven. Excuse me. Are we all done with yes, seven? Yes, oh, thank, <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Mr. Daniels. So he. So out of the six orders that we have out there, the the, the original Cullinan one, I think I said this before, 575 square feet of replication. Then it was a, it was a HS and T filing for the service. But in between those two mm -hmm. was the house removal to put the service in. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe they were in preparation and still making the plans. He had bought the property let's get rid of the house while we're making the plans for the service. I, I can't a answer why David Jr. did it or his engineers mm -hmm. at the time did not, and that was hs &T, didn't record the order. But when we're looking through all the orders to clean up the whole project by right. the end of the summer, mm -hmm. we found that there wasn't a recording of that house removal order. It was no wetland work on it. It was a house removal order. Mm -hmm. All right. So we, we, we just were hoping that whether if there's a fine, you know, I can't say to that, speak to that, that's your case. Mine was I didn't want to leave uh, a paper trail open. In other right. words, uh, you issued something and down the road, Sheila might be looking and say, hey, I found this order and it's never been cleaned up. It, it's still uh, outstanding. And so the only way we've done it in a few other towns is, and we have done it over the years, is to have it reissued and then record it. So we'll spend the money to record it, spend the money to get the certificate and clean it up. It's, it's, it's been long gone. I understand. Okay, thank you. Right. Appreciate it. Okay. Thank so you, you very much. We need a new okay. signature page to record it. Is that correct? That would be it. And we date that today if we sign uh, well, it? No, no, no. You will take it up with it. But, but it would be still, you could, it still runs with the original length that that order would have been good for. Mm -hmm. It doesn't, doesn't have to do with today. So it would be basically a duplicate. The, of, of the old order. Well, the, well, the only question I have is, and it may not be an issue, is, right. you know, we have, of course, new members to the commission who have no knowledge of this filing. So the question is, can they sign an order for something they never considered? I'll, I'll bring out the three to four we've done in the last year and take a look at that, and I will I'll, we'll talk to DP if, if you don't no, that's on fine. that matter, because it has been done. We've, we've had years go by when we've had other ones All issued. Right. Uh, most recently, about a month or two ago, that was an expired one. But but let me just research and get to Sheila, and then she can disseminate. And we'll talk to Denise. She'll be back next week. That's Mrs. fine. Child, thank you again. Okay. Thank Appreciate you. your thank time, you. obviously. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you Glenn. Okay. Thank you, Sheila. Very much. Good night. Okay. <laughs> next item on our agenda is a discussion with Mr. Dubois, who I see in the audience. That's for 707 Oxford Street. So come on up. Mr. Johnson. Well, I'm a board member of any of some entities. <laughs> <laughs> I recognize you right away. That's nice. You must be here a lot. Uh -huh. uh, <coughs> All right, I'm Jason Dubois from DC Engineering. Um, the owner of the property, John Johnson, here with us. Um, <coughs> so the property 707 South Street. Um, Oxford Street South. Oxford Street, sorry. Mm -hmm. um, just had some questions. I mean, the last hearing we were had, it, it seemed like you know, the board was okay with the plan? Well, 
Um, continue. And then, you know, we got the letter that it was denied because of the possibility of the lot being sold? No, 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 no. The, <clears throat> this, um, this plan that you submitted shows a proposed house. Right. But in conversations with Mr. Johnson, it was our understanding that he was going to sell the property. Correct. And so the issue is, um, you know, the, we, the, we were considering a plan that showed a structure on the property. What was not clear to us is whether or not, um, if the property was sold, whether the structure shown in that plan was actually going to be constructed or whether the new owner would propose something else. Mm -hmm. In other words, um, <clears throat> I, I would just, I can't recall a situation where we've had an applicant come show us basically a complete project and then announce basically, well, I'm going to sell it. I mean, that's uh, highly irregular. Can, can I address that? Absolutely, because, yeah, and that's, I mean, love, and love again, it. it was because we felt there was a disconnect between what was proposed and what, what actually may be going right. on that we felt we had to deny it. And so please, Mr. Johnson, if you would, um, please well, clarify. Ori originally, when we put the septic and everything and we had the engineer design the house to fit with conservation, mm -hmm. okay? And then now when we've done this again, I was under the understanding that if we designed the house again to fit with the conservation and the purchase and sales agreement stipulated that that house has to be there, that size house, mm -hmm. it's a cut and dry deal. You okay. don't, they don't have to ever go before conservation. It will make oh. my job oh, wow. of selling the house much harder. I mean, right? So we, you know, we do these all over this was the county. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, a lot of times we will work for developers, get these lots approved through conservation so they can sell them. Right. And that's kind of like what he was doing here. I mean, I, he's talking about the purchase and sale. I don't think he, it, he's not saying, I don't think he means the purchase and sale. The order of conditions that would get if it were to be approved mm -hmm. with this plan would reference this plan. And if any builder, him or any other person, even if the next person sells it, they have to build to that plan. And if they don't, they're in violation. And if they do want to change something, obviously they have to come back and file a new notice of intent okay. or amend the order of conditions. And just so I'm clear on this, and it's I, it's, I think outside of our purview, but I'm going to ask the question anyway. Yep. This passes muster with um, with all zoning requirements or setbacks and that sort of thing? Yes. That's why it actually has to be that far back. Okay. It's right along the front setback line. Right. So it meets zoning requirements. All right. And that's, to meet the zoning requirements, that's why we have to push it. To within 23 feet of the mm -hmm. level. Understood. And we also shrunk the house to 20 feet wide. Right. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. And of course, what um, the well in question is actually down. Um, how how high do you think that bank is? 20 feet, maybe even more. Yeah. Oh, 20 feet. Uh, the, yeah. the well is at the top of the right bank again. Well, you've okay. been there. You saw it. All right. Yeah. So I mean, you know, Ecotech did the delineation just you know, it was last May at mm -hmm. this point now. Mm -hmm. um, but like I said, I mean, th this plan, they have to follow this plan no matter who owns it. All right. If they want to change anything, they have to come back in front of the board. That's just how, yeah. you know. Well, I just want to say something. That's yep. my whole thing is the ambiguity in selling it. If the buyer is under the impression that they don't have to come in front of this board, that's wrong. Because that's even though it is the plan, yep. you know, they still have to come in and say, that's your plan, do it, put the erosion right. control, then we sign on. That's the only thing. So um, before they can even get a building permit, they mm -hmm. need to submit the order yes, conditions. Yes. With yes. that goes with this plan, yes. right? Yes. So the building inspector is going to have to get a copy of this plan as well. Okay, that would go with the order conditions. Mm -hmm. He's going to want to see the recorded order, right? So I mean, it, you know, it's like okay. I said, we do this a you lot. You absolutely the don't want to build a house on this and sell it like built. Oh, that's a, that's my question. That's um, a question too. But I'm in my seventies. I don't <laughs> have any money. Right. I couldn't mm -hmm. afford to build a house, and I have yeah. I have a house, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's not going to be sold with a house on it. You're not going to build the house in well, Santa no. I want to I want to sell it with stipulation that that house has to be built with that spot, that size house. Right. If they're going to build the house, they're going to build the house, which house. would make it harder for me to settle then because someone's going to want to no something well. else. They're going to want to build their own house, and sure. if, if right, they, right. If and this is where you can build on this um, lot. This is, so you should actually build the house. Right. Yes, and right. It's accessible to build a house. Maybe to the it's accessible to build a house, but it has to be that house. Right, right. I mean, I thought that would be. The help, most helpful thing for everybody yeah. is then they don't then it's it's meeting everybody's expectations. Mm -hmm. It's basically not a value. It's it's got no value without an order of conditions. It's not buildable. Mm -hmm. No, um, understood. Right. Yeah. Would it be an 18 foot okay. house. Yeah. I mean, yeah. 20 foot is. Yeah. I mean, it's already got a well and a septic in, yeah. so mm -hmm. there's nothing I mean, has to be done like to the land other than if they if they put a uh, 
small foundation, and that's all the digging that has to be done. And, and how old were the, the how old were the was the septic system? The septic was put in in 1993. Uh, it's never been used. Okay. Um, and the well was put in at the same time, um, and I had it re evaluated by Marshall Provost uh, a couple of years ago. Okay. Um, so everything is up to date. Um, that's fantastic. I, mean, uh, I, I would like to build a house on it, but uh, eh. No money. No funds so, alone. No. I'm retired. I work for myself, but I'm semi-retired. So. Okay, so we issued a, uh, basically, we decided that... Denial. We denial, so we need, you need to file something with us so that we can reconsider it. Now, like you said, this is a discussion. So there wasn't a public, you know, no notice of the, um, of the of a public hearing was posted. So um, my suggestion is that you file um, and I don't know if it's a reconsideration, but um, you need to file something with us so we can um, put it on the agenda and, and basically um, notify the public. Okay? So would it be a public hearing and everything? It has to be a public hearing. Yeah. It was, yeah. I don't know about selling or yeah. buying, yeah. you know what I mean? Like I haven't done that before. I think that what I had the biggest issue with was that it could be 10 years that three. it takes. It's, oh, it could only be three? The order condition is only good for three years. Three years. Right. For him to sell it? No, for an order condition. After three right. years, someone it's else, if they want to do anything, they have to. Right. 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 Uh, so if extension. he doesn't sell it in three years, this is null and void? If the order condition is enacted upon within three years, they could come back and get an extension. Yeah. But it's only good for three okay. years. Okay. All right. So let me clarify. So we said, yeah, okay, you're good. We'll give you this saying, yeah, it's a buildable lot. Yep. If he doesn't sell it within three years, whoever buys it at that point would have to, have to, have have to come do it all over again. Yeah. Yeah. Have to come Unless before it. the three years is up, somebody comes in and asks for an extension on the order conditions. That's true too. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. So I think are you clear on what I think you need to do? Yeah. So, but I mean, do we have to repay the filing fees and everything again, or <laughs> no? Just the advertising. I think just the advertising. Yeah, fine. Okay. I mean, I really don't have any neighbors. I got there's so much frontage. It's like 800 feet of road frontage. It's only a few I mean, it's, yes. Yes. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Okay. Very good. All right. Thanks for coming Thank in. You. Right. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Let me give you the abutters list. Okay. Or maybe I'll just I email it to you. You still, still have it? Fine. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Probably didn't have that many. No, there was only one on each end, and I think yeah, there's, it's, it's well, across just the street feet. there. Well, my, you know, I used 100 feet from the outermost part of the property. That's five. It's five, and then there's two. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought there were two there. Okay, I wasn't reading it right. Okay, yeah. Yeah. All right, so that would be just the $50 advertising fee. Okay. And if you wanted to get on the next hearing, you'd have to see me on the... Oh, well, it's two weeks. You couldn't. Point. You couldn't. <laughs> no. That's the first one in May. Right. Okay. All right. Okay? All right. All right. Thank you. All right. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good night. You too. Thank you. Thanks. Eighty-two Berlin Street. Interesting. <laughs> Interesting. Let's Michelle. talk about that. Mm. Yeah, let's talk about Mr. that. Mr. Coriglio. Yeah. Mm. So, I guess I, I would like to see if there's, again, I know that it's a hundred feet off of the water. He's outside of the water, mm -hmm. but those pipes are sitting on top of, on the ground. Right. And there's always like, like cars going around the trailer now. So they're always driving around the trailer. How many cars? There's, there's, there's always well, they're living in the trailer because of the fire. Right. And there's water, there's pipes with water stuff coming out? Oh no, out. there's sewer. That's their sewer as well. well it's wait, going right. into the water. All right. No, it's not going into right, the water. All right, hold it. Time up. Yeah. What are these pipes? It's probably a sump pump. So it's like a sump pump. And with a macerator that's going from the trailer that's piping into what I'm assuming is their septic. Their septic. septic. Okay, because okay, it's above trailer. ground. Okay. Above Isn't that a. Um, it's off ground. 
um, it's contained. health issue. Yeah, yeah I mean, it's contained right now, but I mean, if that breaks, there's like, there's like, is it a board, isn't it a board of health issue? I'm going to say yes. They, have to so. get a, they okay. probably have to have a permit for them and to live in Somebody has to look at that. Well, yeah, right. yeah. 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 So I'm Sounds just saying to you, is it, it's, I mean, if it's over. not impacting the wetland, and if the board of health is, uh, has signed off on it, I don't know what we can do about but it. But has somebody signed off on it? Well, then, you know, we can, we uh, we can send a letter. They need to get a building permit to put that trailer there. Yeah. Right. Do they really? Yes. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's a trailer, right? Why? Yeah. Why? Because it's. But it's a trailer it's, that you know is because it's moved, moved on and off the property. Oh, so, so why would they need a building? So they have to have because there's structures, stairs it's, that, it's, that are now built there. They have like a walkway with like that are going to it. There's a building. No trailer. So you're saying they're not allowed. You're saying they need a building permit, but no one knows if they have one. Right. Um. I'm heard about it, so I'm thinking. I mean, okay. All right. I don't issue them. So my suggestion would be uh, sending a letter to the Board of Health. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, I actually have to say this, too. Uh -huh. I know in Massachusetts you're not allowed to have two structures because they're petitioning in Massachusetts right now to have small houses on tiny your homes. property, tiny homes, oh, right. in Massachusetts indefinitely uh -huh. so that people can live there. Mm -hmm. So this trailer can only be there for a certain mm -hmm. amount of time. Temporary. While and it's how long temporary. is it housing? How long? Can that happen? I don't know. Is there a bylaw? Right. Does the planning right. board have any bylaw or regulation on that? Is he rebuilding the house? Is that what? Right. Supposedly? But it doesn't seem like he has any time frame. I, I There's a time frame. Out. They have to do it in a certain amount right. of time. When was the uh, the fire? Any idea? Yeah, say month or two. Yeah, about a month ago. Okay, yeah, not I mean, a month anything. is not a lot of time. Uh -huh. There might be insurance issues there. Yeah, that's you better wait said. till you get. Well, you know, I mean, they're probably they probably needed to get an adjuster in there. There may be a difference for paying on what. Uh, mm -hmm. What's covered and what isn't? I'm just saying, and you know. I'm telling you. I mean, they, when he does build a house, he's going to have to come in front of us because it's yep. So I think um, is there a motion to send a letter to the Board of Health? I make a motion that we send a letter to the Board of Health regarding 82 Berlin Street. Okay. I'll second that. Okay. Uh, before we even vote on it, what about do they have? Um, is it public water or do they have a well? Do you know? They yeah, would they have no. It's water. They have uh, uh, they town have water. Town, town water. water. And town is there water. is there like a pipe running to the trailer for that too? I did not see one. So. Okay. Oh, so yes. okay. So there's a motion. There's a second. Is there any further discussion? Who seconded that? You? I did. Tom did. Okay. Uh, all those in favor? I aye. aye. Opposed to vote. Okay. All right. I'll find out exactly what's happening with it when I get back. Yeah. I'm, I'm sure. You, I'm sure you will. <laughs> you'll, you'll find out. We know. She will. Well, okay, um, so Albert and Blaker Street, um, I had a conversation with the chairman of the planning board yesterday. There have been complaints about um, about dust. Is ever, uh, from the time we spent there or went there, they're doing a lot of, uh, mm -hmm. of um, demolition there, not demolition, um, basically ledge removal, um, a lot of earth uh, removal. Um, um, she indicated uh, that um, that they had not gotten an earth removal permit, which they should have. Mm. Again, that's a planning board issue. It's not our issue. Mm. Um, I talked to Bill Coyle. Bill indicated that they do have a water truck on, um, or they did have a water truck go to the property to, mm. to basically water down the piles of, um, of sand or dirt so that the dust levels had uh, decreased. Um, what I'd like to do um, and again, when we went there, it was still a fair amount of snow on the ground. It wasn't an actu actually an easy place to kind of navigate. I would like to go back there. Um, I think Bill feels that they have gone above and beyond uh, what their plan called for. It was not clear to me whether or not um, any of the additional um, work was um, was within the 100-foot buffer zone. And so, uh, and I also learned that apparently the planning board does not have the authority to issue cease and desist orders, which kind of surprised oh, me. Huh. Mm, wow. Really? So, and we do. So, um, I'm going to try to make a point of, um, and I think I may uh, reach out to Mr. Coyle to go out there and, and actually take a very close look and see if uh, they've gone beyond the parameters of what they found with us. We need them to stop working. Do Mike, didn't Bill Coyle say that he thought that in the back corner and we couldn't access it because we would have to cut right. get permission, to but through. he thought it was up in that area where he thinks they might have been within the 100 feet yeah. or something. And, that close to and so I, you know, Someone needs to show up. it's, yeah. a, it's well, a big site and I just think we, yeah, we need specificity. Exactly. I just wanted to say on Monday, I believe it was Monday, the 
one that has been complaining, I don't have her name, mm -hmm. but she came in very concerned because she has an elderly father in his 80s who has breathing yeah. issues. And I guess they're not just, you know, before they were taking these big hunks of well, there's stone. Yeah, ton yeah, ton right. Tons of lunch up there. And they were hauling it out. Well, now they're processing it. Uh, like so I, oh. Any dust Which, is bad. Yeah. They're not, they're, um, OSHA is cracking down on this. So it seemed like Are they allowed to process? part of the subdivision work program. But again, know. and you know, it always comes down to um, what is within our jurisdiction. Right. Mm -hmm. so, and she's been taking pictures, right? I. So Bill, and I, Adam. Bill was Mr. Coyle was actually aware of that complaint, and he, mm -hmm. he did say that because the water truck was there, that the dust levels had uh, uh, decreased considerably. Yeah. I don't know if you've received any other complaints from um, from this person. Well, I, that was Monday, and I haven't been here. So, so. yeah, I mean, I, I since she knows how to get in touch, though, I would assume that if it was a continuing problem, you would have heard from her. Well, she came in and spoke to Adam. Okay. And so that was it. It was left in, and Caleb told me that Bill Coyle was going to go take a ride by there and see what was going on. They had the water. I think he did, and yeah. I think they did. It was in they, the afternoon. Yeah. So, all right. I mean, we'll keep our eye on it. And then um, the um, yeah, yeah, 490, 490 Rochdale Street. It's like that. Um, it's like that splinter that you just oh, can't get rid of. I know. And it's annoying. <laughs> the glass. Um, it's gets infected. It's happening so, there. I know. Well, it's coming I'm, back. It keeps um, coming back. <laughs> I have not heard from Megan Selby. Um, I don't know if she's gone out there as she said she would. Um, so I will make it a point to contact her or try to contact her. Do you want me to try again when I get back? Okay. Well, I'll call her. To, I'm okay. going to co contact her tomorrow. Can okay. we handwrite something on the list to chat about? Um, it depends on what it is. <laughs> okay, this note from Ken Smith. Oh, Ken Smith. Oh, yeah. Yes, we can discuss that. Okay, all right, cool. Uh -huh. All right, so. Why don't you like set the table? Tell us what, okay, what so, the origin was. Okay, so the, yeah. woman, the woman came in about uh, the weeds in the rest mm -hmm. of the lakes. Mm -hmm. Right. Or the ponds mm -hmm. that are going on that they were treating. Okay, those ponds don't have, uh, as far as I know, uh -huh. um, lake associations. <laughs> right. Okay. right. Mm -hmm. The town just pays for them right. to get treated, mm -hmm. as far as I know, right? Mm -hmm. right. That money comes out yeah. of the town? Yeah. I don't know what they're putting in for treating. All I know of is that they do drop the water down, let it freeze, and mm -hmm. then fill it back up. And we had $12,000 at one time to do that. Uh, which the highway department took that over, so that's all I know what, that they do. I don't know if they're putting any chemicals in. I I really don't know what they're doing for treatment. Well, I think she's like used to it's be the one that's doing it. Yeah, one other company does it. I yeah. Think yeah. Right. So Ken, yeah. so she sent the letter. Ken sent this letter saying, "No, we're just doing this where we lower the, dry, the water the dry down. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, Cheap. that hasn't happened in the last two years. I know this hasn't happened because I actually live on this lake, so okay. I know that that hasn't happened. Oh. Um, do you want to respond? Yes. Okay. Okay. Do, well, do you okay want to respond I personally? Actually, I will if, if that's okay with everybody. Sure. Okay, Doc all right. They dropped the water yeah, level, right? They did a lot. I think, but I think right. they not, do that, and it actually helped them a little bit. So, okay, so I understand did, like, that this dam is a problem, but equipment to do that work. Also, like saying that they weren't going to do this because we don't have, like, you know, a, a lake association is kind of disingenuous because none of the other ones do either. So I don't so really what do understand. You want? What do you, what, and what I do know you that question? there's other stuff that we can't actually buy some of the stuff to treat the lake unless you have a lake association or the town gets involved. So And when the town gets involved, now you're talking about spending money. Yeah. Right. And that's so mm -hmm. so someone's gotta give. So mm -hmm. as long as you guys are good with me actually yeah. like well, okay. Can, can, may I, maybe you could do a draft and then you could circulate. Okay. <laughs> okay. Right. You know? Okay, I will do that. It may be a little late because town meeting is coming up, but what happened is it was one year, everybody had to cut their budget 5%. Mm -hmm. The only thing we could cut was the 12000 mm -hmm. And then mm -hmm. somebody who lived on one of the lakes decided, no, we want to, and he got enough signatures. So instead of spending our twelve grand, they I recall they spent more than that because it was voted on. Mm -hmm. So they actually did it anyways. 
spent a lot of money. <laughs> but doesn't conservation have some money? I mean, at this particular point, yeah. these lakes, if they become swamps, we're yeah. going to spend more money trying to kill exactly. like, the mosquitoes mm -hmm. and spraying <clears throat> chemicals all over the town, which is going to become a problem. I would like to know, what does it cost them of manpower and, and money to just to do that, to drain and the ponds out? Because it's probably pretty cheap, a lot cheaper than even treating it. Right. So I don't know why they wouldn't do that. Because but it, as I recall, our money, we don't. Our money is not in a separate account, is it, Sheila? It's supposed to be. Yes. Why, it is it's still in a separate account. Yes. Mass state law is supposed to be. Yeah, yeah. The yeah. town can't touch that money. Yep. How much is in it? Mm, I don't know. Sixty. Sixty. Ooh. What do we got? That's why we should get an agent. I know. What are we gonna do with uh, all that? Do a lot of things. Um, well, I know. I like your idea, though. So you're saying since we have that money, yeah. I mean, we, you know, um, and I think I've said this before. When I first started on this commission. Um, Several presidents ago, um, we had we had. She's laughing. It's true. Um, you know, we had big projects, big subdivisions, and now I mean, you can tell we get um, the the scope of the projects we're we're getting now are, are much smaller. We, we've seen actually more with large expanses of land. We're seeing more solar, which still involves to some degree um, a consultant, but usually it's the planning board that's hiring the consultant. So we have the, these funds. And um, you know, I think if we if we had the ability to, as you indicate, uh, prevent um, you know these valuable wetland resources or or streams and lakes from turning into swamps, I think it's a great idea. Mm -hmm. The only the only thing the only question is I don't know if we have the what authority we have to go out and and actually um, hire someone directly because I don't think we've ever done that. Mm -hmm. Doesn't mean we well, can't. Well, like we can had, you know, we had Margaret go check out a site. For I us, understand that, that. but that was in response to yeah. something. This is would actually yeah. be a, a, yeah. a separate initiative. Yeah. I just want to say too, you said that the planning board pays for. They have peer review money that comes from the applicant. Well, that's right. That's so, the, so it's the yeah, town isn't paying for any you're reviewing absolutely. at all. It's the applicant. You're absolutely right. right, right, right. right. If I started trying, I can actually start trying with mine, and I think that if we started trying to get some of the other water waterways to like even if we did like a match funds you know like if we got some of the funds from them like could we do something where concom was matching some of the funds mm -hmm. where we I don't know, mm -hmm. you know what i mean like mm -hmm. matching me yeah. um but i know i know specifically like like to try and kill some of these some of these weeds mm -hmm. it, it has to be an all or nothing like he says you have to it's all or nothing it's the whole yeah. thing because, yeah. but are we going to be reviewing people's quotes and making sure we're getting the lowest yes subcontractors yeah. and and know, again yes well there aren't that many companies that there's only two companies in massachusetts that you can do a lucat and, right. and there's right. another one and when you went to i'm sure that i know that i talked to them and when you went to the um the but training at just Cross. just mm -hmm. to be clear here um there's probably an rfp that's going to be required a request mm -hmm. proposal right. mm -hmm. and that um I mean, We're planned to think. I think and that's something out. we have yeah, never done. You yeah. know, so <laughs> we want to make sure we don't run afoul of, you know, mm -hmm. the master all laws or the town, yeah. the town regulations. I wonder if there's, I wonder if there's any um, grants. Yeah, already done. Oh, Garrett, there's got to be. There's, there's got to be grants. Like grant money, right? definitely. There should be. There's got to be grants. I would think so. My mother-in-law knows how to write grants. Maybe she can help me write some grants. But I think it's an excellent um, topic what, for discussion. To find out if there is money available who, for a grant. Who writes the grants in Auburn? Julie, does Julie do it? I mean, we should definitely use that she money does. as the best way to do it. Because I know you know, before she lands, came to Auburn, but at this point, all, all of our lakes, if yeah. you go by any of our lakes or ponds in Auburn, all of them are turning into grants. She did. All of them. I don't know if she does the money there that I brought up. I think the Auburn residents would love it. Remember, Matt was drafting some for plans. He tore them down when I was on that committee. He did something with it. I don't know. Is that the park you're talking about? Huh? The park they're going to redo that building and make it a, a town office. Park. What park? The one on Route 20, the, the waterway. What's it called? Gleason. Gleason, yeah. They are? They're going to redo Gleason that? to do what? I don't know. To renovate, they were going to use it for a meeting room also. Yes, the highway they department uses it, uh, don't they? Yes, yeah, I think they use the storage on the bottom. Okay, yeah, that's right up yeah, where yeah, it looks like. Yeah, because they're going to find out more Ken Holstrom. Hmm. Uh, are they going to talk about that at the time? I heard it from... I'm town manager when I was yeah. getting appointed for this position. Mm. So 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 it's decided upon, but that's what they're reviewing to put another meeting space. All right. Well, I gotta support that. But do we have any other conservation lands? Just like lands that are just. <laughs> 
I don't, to be honest with you, I don't know. Land. I had it. <laughs> well, like, you know, where people walk their dogs and it's just conservation. Well, yeah, okay. there's, there's, that one that there's the, there's the path like, down at, um, um, at the Pappas um, yeah. Recreation yeah. Facility. Yeah. 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 You know, yeah, that's a different right. question yeah, from whether or not uh, the CONCOM itself yeah. owns land. You have to get it back to me, we though. Have an open I, don't know. I don't know where I came up with that. Wow, what is this? What is it? The Holy Grail. Oh gosh, look at this. What is it? Yeah. Yeah. It's a custom yeah. yeah. I love like, I love math and lot numbers too. Yeah. Yeah. You're, 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 you're asking for a lot. Really? Can we get copies? I don't know where I got it. Yeah. 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 We can get copies. I'm looking at that. So we could easily copy that. What is that? Can we take that? It's supposedly, allegedly, it's a list of land that the Conservation Commission actually owns. Okay. I really? Pass it, around. Pass it around. Pass it around. Pass it around. I'll have my camera ready. Uh, well. Now you guys yeah. are rubbing it in my face because I have a flip phone. Okay, that's all right. Okay. I'll yeah. take one for you. That's exactly I'll what scan it. Exactly. I'll scan it. 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 I'll scan it.
I didn't look that new. Okay. So. Uh, I mean, I don't know if he pulled a permit for it or not. How but many years ago? Was he the did no, pull he a permit, he so he said he was. Though, right? well, was well, what was happened like was it was undersized, and he kept right. adding on right. to it. Right, he added on to it. And then size. now it's now it's of a size. It's, it's just a little over the 200 square feet, so he's got to get a permit. Mm -hmm. So he was going to take care of that. He said. Oh, all right. So you had a discussion with him then on that. Uh, yes. So, but again, since the shed is built, he's getting a permit retroactively. That, that did, he tell you, did he tell you? No, so this, this is, is Daniel. Yes, in, he, on that email, he did have exact dates when he added on to it. It was so, before we passed the bylaw. Yep. More than likely, yeah, I think it was. Yeah, I think it was yeah. too. The add-on so, was before we passed it? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, thank you. And so for that reason, I mean, you know, you can't, you, no, you can't. I mean, in very, except in very rare um, circumstances, New legislation or new rules are uh, proactive and not like retroactive. The right. They're prospective. Yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. So um, the difference, and the difference is that, um, unfortunately for Mr. McMahon, we do have the 25 foot no bill zone, and so um, you know he had filed a request for determination. Um, had the shed been built uh, or proposed for outside of the 25 foot no build zone, I don't think there'd be any issue. Uh -huh. So. Um, I guess I'm asking for a motion on Mr. McMahon. I have one question before we may take a vote. Sure. I have the information that Glenn provided for Seven Bridal Path, mm -hmm. where he was looking to waive the fee. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know if we can consider that because it's a minor activity, we don't have enough information. In other words, if he was going to build a shed and not put footings in and just had it on the ground, mm -hmm. so there was like no disturbance at all the ground, but we don't have enough information for that. I think that's actually uh, uh, that's probably the um, that's Caleb Moody's decision. Okay. My, minor activities within 50 feet. <coughs> over 50 feet away. But let's and keep. But what I'm saying is we can grant a we're allowed to grant a waiver. Right. But as long as if it, if it's something that's of minimal impact. I mean, like like I'm saying, mm -hmm. if he was going to start four wheel four wheel vehicles yeah, in there with small, fuel and stuff, I'd say no. Shed but, too, uh, isn't it? Yeah. That, that's the only thing. Ten by sixteen. I mean, but the only reason not to put it in the front of the yard was because his kids wanted to play out there. I mean, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. there's people who just don't seem... The problem, I think, is that it creates a precedent. Yep. And, yeah. Um, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. You know, I mean, we passed these, um, yeah. you know, we have bylaws and regulations for all those houses. Everybody's getting polls. Right there. Right there. Yeah, right there. So anyway, is there a motion? Four I make a motion. Same same in a row, all are doing different things. We need a motion. I make a motion that we um, make a positive determination of applicability for the 15 bridal path. Okay, okay. Is there a second? 15 bridal path. I'll second that. Is there any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Uh, um, one day. Okay. Good point. All right. It's a vote. It's passed. Okay. So, if he came back and filed a notice of intent, he would have to file a notice of intent then yes. in order to get that close yes. and we would have to pay that waiver fee. Or just... just the, the, the problem is that, and it's as I explained to Mr. Kravosky at the last meeting, mm. The only way you get a waiver from the 25 foot no build zone is it's to file is intent. through a notice of intent. Okay. okay. Yep. Okay. We For don't sure. have, and, and right now, the way our regulations um, uh, are written, there is no exemption to that. You cannot get a, a waiver um, with a through, a, notice, uh, through a request for determination. Okay. All right. Okay. You can, however, get a waiver for the fee, though. The $500 fee. Yes, you can. That's why he was yeah. saying it was a minor activity. Oh, oh, oh. So perhaps because, and I agree, I think, you know, I'm How assuming this is going to be built on cinder it blocks. It's probably going to, it's not going to be <laughs> have footings. He doesn't need a permit. That's how it's not that big. And so I think he could probably, um, he could waive the, mm. uh, the fee. Yeah. The fee for the waiver. Okay. So, okay. All right. All right. Um, <clears throat> for, Okay, yes. and then for for Daniels, which is the request for determination for seven bridal path, um, that's the last the seven twenty item. Oh, okay. There we go. Okay. Seven. Is there a motion? I I submit that we do a. Yeah, he's like he's fifty feet, right? 
over 25. He's 25. more than 25 feet away. He's more than 25. Correct. And no negative. Just 25. Okay, yeah. I thought they would do a negative determination. Okay. Is there a second? I'll second that. Is there any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Okay. And there's one objection from Allison. Okay. Okay. All right. All right, with, with respect to the meeting minutes. What about CPT? Oh, we don't want to talk about CPT? No. no, no we need to re I want to review the new set of plans. I think we have yep. to go through the original. I mean, yep, 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 yep. no, we've got that stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think we want to be pretty. I don't want to actually. Um, what about a peer review on their wetland donation, considering she missed the most obvious wetland? Uh, we close the public hearing. We can't do the peer review? No. No, it's so um, only no. when would I have asked yeah. mm -hmm. that? Uh, probably two or three meetings ago. <laughs> we didn't even get out there. To well, we've been out there a lot. Um, I know, and she missed the well, wetland on the access road. Couldn't have been uh, more you know, obvious. It was winter, con it was it was winter conditions. Yeah, it was. Anyway. So are we holding off on the order conditions for... We are. We're yeah, not okay. going to do that tonight. Okay. 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 We only we'll have two items on the agenda right now for the twenty fourth, right? The CPT. Yes, two sheets. Sure. Uh, I'm sorry. Okay, no problem. We only, we only have two items on the agenda for uh, April twenty fourth right now. Um, we have Stelmach and we have Rogati. Yep. Mm -hmm. yep. Yep. Yeah. Uh, yes. Okay. Yep. Um, and the site visits were. Laker, 23 Brook. 23 Brook Street, and I actually, yeah, I'm hoping I can corral Brooke. Mr. Coyle to take me out there. Okay. Since okay. I think he has a better idea of uh, where that is. Where that is. Okay, 23 Brook you wanted to go to, and then Laker. At some point. Brook right. Laker. Mm -hmm. Okay. We can go out this Saturday. I can go out this Saturday. I can't next Saturday. Okay. Uh, I don't know about next Saturday yet. Next Saturday is the Saturday before Easter. Okay. Yeah. 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 So. I know I've got a conflict this Saturday, so at least in the morning. Yeah. All right. So, Mr. Uh, um, what do we do with Glenn as far as um, for Severn Fake Brown? Ave? Fake uh, Ave. Just, I'm not even sure which order of conditions he needs. Uh, to I, I've, I've got, got it. I've got it. Right I don't here. remember. I'm it's right here. He's got it all written out. Okay. Requesting a commission to reissue 0980684. When was the day of the original order of conditions? Yes. I'd like to know that. I went to. And actually, we can't, you know what? We can't. We can't do that because I think it's an open question. I don't know that that current members of this board can sign something that we considered mm. seven or eight years ago. I think yeah. the answer probably is we can. Yeah. I but think I so. and it said if you remember, he said he was going to contact DEP, and I think I may do so myself. Okay. Mm. So, I was not right, board so seven or eight years ago. You know, that's, why off on this. Board that's exactly right. Yeah. That's right. In <laughs> fact, um, aside from Tom, um, was that, was was it was back in the Mr. Duggan days? Yeah, Mr. Duggan. <laughs> yeah. Oh, see, you were, you, and I was after you too. I was on. Yeah. Okay. So, All right. So I'll just put. We got to check new members yes. signing. Yeah. And again, um, the work. You know, as he's indicated. That work was done a long time ago. They're just trying to um, clean up the, like, the documentation. The and, and, Albert, and then this is the order of conditions for 33. Yeah. Yeah. Um, sword Street that I cannot locate the. Yeah, we did sign it, but. Signed. We did the Sword Street. And we signed it on the 23rd because apparently they're appealing. They're appealing. They are appealing um, order due to the. Um, the maintenance and something plan, what do they call that? Maintenance and to check the plan out. To they they don't want to submit it to us? No, no. We've already got that. Right. Didn't I email that to everybody? Yeah. Um, What's the issue? Goddard Engineering does not like whatever the language is in that maintenance and, uh, what is it? Maintenance from, and. You mean from the abutter? Yeah, 31. Wow. 31. It is, does not like, like 30 the maintenance and plan. And Do they have a call? They are, wait a second. They are taking an appeal? That's what I was under the impression. I've never heard of that. Yeah. I mean, usually. And that was the reason why Mark um, they, Arnold told me that. What are they appealing? What? They're appealing the 
maintenance they have, and do they have what do you call that? Operation, operation, operation and maintenance, maintenance plan. Yeah. Operation they, they're maintenance. gonna have to show that that plan somehow causes them some sort of harm. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Exactly I've never what heard they of that. Like, yeah. I mean, I'm pretty sure that's what it was. Well, check it out. That's right. okay. Check well, it out. Well, why don't you pass it around so we can sign it? Sure. Okay, check it out. All right. There's that, and then I've got these two okay. uh, determinations. And Tony, one I can't sign it because you weren't here. When we, and I, were you here, the 23rd? I'm sorry, I, you, you're just dead <laughs> sitting. The 27th. <laughs> I was not we're here. We're not here the last meeting. No. So I cannot right. sign that. And that's when that's, we that's signed it, correct? Right there. Yes, that's, yes that's, we did. That's I got here. <laughs> it was issued. Okay, so oh. you two were absent. Okay. There's numero uno. You can't sign. I would like to ask for status updates on projects like the other two solo you, projects that are going on. No, you're <laughs> not trying to create any... more work for you, but I just mean like. I don't know if the planning board gets site, that. Does it? Okay. I don't know. Status we must have updates for the solo. I can't sign that one either. No, this is what we ruled on tonight. I just want to know because I you know, what you've done. Which one is this? Is this the positive or negative? It says on the back. 15 Bernadette. Okay. So 15 is the positive. Okay. Uh -huh. Wrong meeting. <laughs> no, when 15 we was positive. positive. Okay. They're they have to file a notice of intent. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So negative is the opposite. Correct. Right. Yeah. You want a negative. They want a negative. You, you give a positive, they have to file a notice of intent. Positive means so, so which one action. Is okay. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I can't sign this one either. No, you can. You can sign that. They're going to file it. No, no. They know some intent. They're going to have to you gotta watch out for it. They're not gonna pay the okay. waiver fee, but they're gonna have to apply for a waiver. Okay. Provide a plan and. A new plan, okay. Well, yeah, that was provide a plan for you. It's a little bit. It's a big one. Shed's going here. It's a square box. What kind of shed? Go send you what you want to do. And the other one's okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Wow. Yeah, Freaking bridal path. path. As far as path is tough, man. I mean, that's... And Michelle, you cannot sign this one. I can't sign this one. I voted on this one. This first time we had no, this two is votes on, um, in one night. This is 15. We had one person. This is where you... I love you that. We should have... That should be like at it. Didn't you? One of these no, I'm the one who actually. No, I'm the one who actually. I like that. I'm sorry. 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 I'm
as amended? I'm not sure we amended it. We didn't. But we didn't amend it. Did really did anyone have any amendments? <laughs> it was as perfectly I stated. reviewed it and I had Although no... I, I ex oh, sorry. No, do this you reminds me, no, but whatever happened with them removing and fixing the erosion control within 14 days? That that was no, never issued. That enforcement order? No, we said we were going to send a letter to the owners of 31 and 30... Oh, I did send. Yep. I did send so one. I did, so I did send them. Certified. Did you get the yeah. Did you get the clients back? I got. I think I got one of them back. Oh, which one? Thirty one or thirty two? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I haven't been here to remember. That's what I mean. Thirty one is Marty. Is Marty? 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 Is I requested if there's a motion for March 27th. Make a motion that we accept from the committee. Oh, did you already Carolyn already yeah, did. Do whatever she said. I okay. did. Okay. second it? Yeah, I'm seconding it. All right, is there any discussion? Yeah. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Close the vote. Aye. 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 Good. Okay. Okay. Sorry we ruined your vacation show. Oh, you do that? And uh, is there a motion to adjourn? I'd like to I'd make one more motion. I'd like okay. to make a motion that we ask Sheila to request a status update on the solar projects okay. currently. On our lobby. When you return from your vacation, of course. Okay. All right, so you want, okay, let's talk about that really briefly. Um, just a letter to go out, just asking for what status. A status report, like progress. The, yeah, progress report. They, when are they going to start construction? Just mm -hmm. okay. Did All right. We, did we say we were going to look at the erosion control? Well, that's the whole started? purpose of it. Yeah, like could we mm. word the letter to say we just like to know so that. Um, What's the appropriate? Is this for 327 in particular? And you want to know uh, No, the it's other actually one? for the other one. It's actually for the other, okay. yeah, mm -hmm. the other two, I mean, right? I think it's... I don't think of... Yeah, there was two that we did. There's, in there's two other ones. 76 hasn't even... One is really Rochdale yeah. Street. How about Lester? Is Le the Lester, 476 Lester, Lester. I don't think it's even been done yet. Okay. that bridge work right. that they okay. want to get done. Yes. All right. Yeah. Okay. So mm -hmm. there's a motion. Is there a second? Okay. I'll second. 347 Rochdale. Uh, well, when do they sit? Do they well, we don't. Need, yeah, I no, wouldn't say from them started, because they're yeah. still yeah. in yeah. front of us. You're but really the other not. two, okay. and, and basically, you could, if you wanted to word it, just because we're interested to know when the erosion control measures like will be put in place for inspection. Why don't we go look at that? Okay. Why, why do we even send them a letter? Why don't we go look at it? Yeah. I haven't been to the second one. I went to the first one, the one with the bridge, but I never did get to see the second one. Well, yeah, we have to for example, if it's posted with no trespassing signs, we have to get is permission. It? Yeah. Is it? Yeah. I don't, I don't know, know if it is or not. I mean, it's, I would imagine it is. Anyway. <clears throat> All right, so there's a motion and there is a second, I believe. Yes. Okay. To adjourn. No, no, no. 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 <laughs> Let's try. We're status updates. There. This is for status for updates for the solar projects in town. Okay. Is there any further discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed to vote? Now, Carolyn. I make a motion that we adjourn. Second. Is there any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed to vote. Thank All right. You. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.